Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> okay, how exciting! So this is Gamaliel from GAC, right? Right, and Isayana Sarasvati, and they're Aladdin. singing. They they were the official soundtrack for Aladdin the movie. Uh, Al- Aladdin is that how you say it in English? Aladdin. Yeah, my Aladdin. <laughs> Sorry, the the movie, like, you know the. The fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, bro. I just I was thinking in Spanish. Uh, but uh, yeah, so they were the official soundtrack. You know how in the so Philippines nice. was Morissette and Darren Spanto. Really? So this is the uh, official on Indonesian soundtrack. Go on. Aladdin. Or Aladdin. Aladdin. No, I, th- I think that's how we say it in Spanish. What's the actual pronunciation? Aladdin. I can show you Ooh. Oh, is that a song? Yeah. Oh, that's a song. Don't watch this never off. Oh, that is so pretty. I can open Oh, how nice! Oh, for that you movie, see I've yeah. seen it. <laughs> yeah, pause. I saw it, it's a good movie. Go on, carry on. A whole new world. <laughs> it goes out. <laughs> I love it. Ah, pause. So do they, do they, um, is it like back home where say that you got a movie, Mm -hmm. well, actually, I don't know, because in Indonesia, they, they speak a lot of English, right? Um, so do they get the original actors and, and the girl's voice in the movie? Or is it like back home where we get told a lie (laughs) and it is dubbed? No disrespect to all the dubbing artists and all that stuff. You guys do an incredible job because if not, I wouldn't be able to understand Harry Potter, for example. (laughs) Yeah, that's right. I enjoy that movie. Yes. Or Spider-Man. Yes. I was a fan of that movie and it was dubbed. Yeah. Gave me a fake voice, but that's fine (laughs) in sake for me, for, for the sake of me understanding the movie. Yeah. Do they get the originals, do you think? Well, if the if the official language of the country is English, Don't they is. yeah, uh, then the the movie doesn't get dubbed. But if say for example, uh, the official language in Italy is Italian, so it, the it's movie dubbed. gets dubbed yeah. in Spanish. It gets dubbed for Spain and Latin America in two different uh, accents. Um uh, I must say the Spanish dubs are rough. The which ones the, the right. from Spain? No, no, but, uh, the all European of them. Spanish. All of them. <laughs> all, everything in Spanish that gets dubbed is rough. <laughs> uh, I love the neutral, neutral Latin American accent. It's so funny. Anyways, uh, but yes, if if the if the country's official language is English, it won't change. Right. Yeah. Uh, but it, they do adapt the soundtrack like we're seeing now. To the uh, the Disney will pick uh, two relevant singers in the moment, and they will do the uh, the official soundtrack of the movie that way. Well, it's very peculiar listening to because we we've heard. Well, we literally just watched this movie, didn't we? Like uh, I don't know, like four months ago, whenever it was, mm-hmm. can't remember it. It was all right movie, also it's fine. Um, but we literally just Fantastic watched it, movie. and then. We also have watched the different soundtracks. We've heard them all, like the the one in America, like the worldwide one. They were in the Philippines. Now, obviously, this one. This all we also. I I think I've watched by accident. Uh, I think it was like a Japanese one or something like that. Oh, cool! Um, wow. So it's interesting how in different regions they go for different things. So there's different uh, uh, d- different details and different emphasis mm-hmm. on things like. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, in, in some places, like the diction is, is very, uh, it's a main focus is immaculate, kind of more theatre-like. Um, then it, it seems like in America, it's more kind of like... Uh, uh, cadence. Cadence, yeah, and... and uh, well, if... if, if repli- it, replicability. Well, I was going to say that usually what happens is that in the movie, the official song, say, for Al- Al- Aladdin is a, a Whole New World. That's the, the staple song of the movie. Right. And that represents the movie. And in the movie, is sung as you would do it in theater, as it's written in the score. But what happens is that when you get the guest uh, artist to do the official soundtrack at the end, too, for the credit roles, uh, 
is usually a different version of the song. It's you like want them a, to add pop, their own a pop or a more modern contemporary type of take. Um, so it is usually a different version of the one that you hear in in the movie itself. Well, it was very interesting because like the one thing was the one I don't, I'm not sure if it was the one in the Philippines, but I'm sure we heard a song from the Philippines. It was like an OST, and it, it was very theatrical. Like it, it, the 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 emphasis on pronunciation and diction and modulation of things was very similar to theater. Um, so less pop, mm-hmm. you know. So it's very interesting how different parts of the world kind of have, yeah, the crowds have different tastes. That's right. And the industry caters to different things, mm-hmm. you know. But this one feels very, um, very, very. Uh, Accessible, yeah, yeah. It's very pop friendly, very pop forward. Yeah. Go on. And it's, it's very easy to listen to. I love his his warmth, his quality so nice. Camarilla actually has the voice. Oh, nice! Actually has the voice of Aladdin. I was gonna say he is a very Disney forward friendly voice. Just his own flavor. See, look. He actually kind of looks a bit like but the actor. Left. Well. Left. Just listen to that and tell me that's not Disney. <laughs> so Great shot. Oh, how nice. Fantastic video. Can we have a moment for that video? That's great video. so great. Aladdin. You see? With what label are they? Sony. I don't, I don't know. Oh, there was Disney music. Mm-hmm. So, I, cause I, I would love to know how kind of this comes about. I don't UMG. really know. Yeah, I'd love to hear this kind of comes about. Like, uh, like who picks who? Yeah, how does, do we does go? Disney go to UMG? Or does, or does Disney UMG go... UMG provide, oh, here's who we think would yeah, be great Yeah, that's for... a very interesting, if anyone knows. Yeah, me too. It's a very interesting part that I don't think many people speak about. How that's that true. even comes to happen. Maybe Disney gets in touch with it. Uh, Gamaliel's team and Isiana, Isiana's team. Um, I'm not sure. I don't know how that would work. I don't think. I don't know. I think it goes more along the lines. Disney is looking for somebody to do the OST for this. You think it's like that? I think. I think so. You don't think they'll have someone in mind? I don't know. Given the it magnitude depends. of the project. I, I don't know. Good point. Good point. I don't actually know. Because they'll take know how like popularity into account. They'll take like trend into account. They'll take obviously vocal quality into account and stuff. Like yeah. That. That's actually a good point. I don't, I don't really know how it works. So if you do have any type of information on how the pro process and like who goes to do Man, the official soundtracks, but like Phil Collins made a song for Tarzan. Well, he did the whole sa- the whole uh, yeah. yeah. They went to him. Yeah, that's true. Only him, you know. Yeah, that's true. So, anyways, well, let us know what you thought about it. And yeah, if you know anything about that, do let us know in the comments below.